beginning. All right. So, um, cool. I see a level 257 Demon Slayer. What can I do for you today? Well, hopefully, get in some direction for, well, shining mm -hmm. uh, in the near future. Okay. And also just some general advice, I think. Okay. Um, so, yeah, level 2, uh, 57 Demon Slayer. Uh, switched uh, last Hyperburn from Adele to Demon Slayer. Okay. Uh, was a main Demon Slayer before on uh, Luna and now on EU Reboot. So not many of those, but here I am. EU hype, yes. How's EU doing? Uh, quiet. Quiet, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but good, high, good burns on the maps. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But that's nice. Yeah, I bet that is. I don't know what that is, Burn. It doesn't exist over here. <laughs> Especially yeah, with the summer and all the Kali's and everything. Now it's getting busier here, here as well. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Because <laughs> your busy is still acceptable. It, it's still less than your quiet. Our busy oh. was, uh, yeah, our busy was people can't get into the login screen because everyone is making a Kali. Like, that's the level of busy it was yesterday at reset. Down. I was getting kicked out of the login screen <laughs> twice, so I was like, okay, never mind, I'll go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so uh, how are you feeling about the DS? What are your... Do you have any, like, dilemma you need to choose between, or is it just upkeep questions? Um, well, mostly up upkeep questions. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago, I found out that uh, I do need to have the uh, monster park potion to break actually my speed cap yes um mm -hmm. so that explains my uh, immorability as well mm -hmm. i was like I, ro I rolled this in a couple rolls i was like oh well then no green pot and just uh uh decent speed infusion and attack speed plus one will do it for me mm -hmm. so that was a was a big change when i found that out yes you can yes yeah, so you can exchange the inner the the speed infusion but not the the green pot, right? Because otherwise you're not capping, or you're not breaking yeah. the soft cap. Yeah. Yeah. So. So now well, you're speedy next... boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a big difference. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And yeah. Well, next inner ability discount uh, uh -huh. will do something about my uh, inner ability as well. Yeah. You have a plan for that? Because I think there's some possibility for. Buff duration if you just want to like lazy telefarm into infinitum, but, but I guess most people go for a cooldown skip chance on the iframes and then some drop and some mezzo or some you know boss damage or damage to debuffed. Yeah, I'm not really into teleporting farming yet, mm -hmm. or um, never tried it to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll probably go for, yeah, as you said, like boss or uh, skip, uh, awesome skip. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, okay. I didn't make a plan yet. Um, we'll see. Yeah. So, um, said it. Yeah, I, I would. I would also say. Uh, I would also say like set like, kind of like a budget for how many circulators you want to spend, and just stay within yeah. whatever that budget is. And then if you hit, then you commit your honor. And if you don't hit, then you try again next time. What is an acceptable uh, budget for rolling uh, with? Um, okay. you'd be okay looking for either a mobbing or a bossing in your ability, or like where are you situated in terms of which bosses you can do, which bosses you want to do, like what's your overall goal for the character? Yeah, so I'm now doing hard lucid in a party. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm doing hard, I a will, I, I practiced it, never did it. Mm -hmm. Um, so soon getting into uh, hard will. Uh, okay. Hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, as well, and um, so that's where I'm at uh, at the moment. And then, well, I like to progress uh, to solo lucid, um, and uh, and get into parties for harder bosses. Yeah, um, uh, solo or duo, uh, just in a smaller party. Yeah. Okay. So you, yeah. You maybe don't need to hardcore lock into a bossing inner ability just yet then. Um, 
I guess the other question would be in terms of where the money is coming from in your account, right? Is it mostly coming from training on your main or do you have some bossing mules set up? Uh, I have a bossing mule while my Adele before it uh, was my former main. Mm -hmm. um, everything up to uh, normal slime. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm getting now my paneer there as well with some notes um, mm -hmm. to use your ray. Uh, my Dawn Warrior is my um, Hyper Burn at the moment. Okay. So probably get, getting there uh, as well. Yeah. And I have like, yeah, four, um, four characters for bossing. Right, okay. Um, besides that, uh, uh, Ursus and uh, Mabel Tour. Mm hmm. And some grinding. Yeah, grinding. Because it's. I would say like the main thing you want to look at if you're doing interability is see if, if you need to include or if you can possibly exclude the mesoptane line because then that will give you a little bit more direction on interability on what you're going for exactly. Um, but you could also say like, okay, I hit, let's say you hit like unique cooldown skip and you hit, um, you know, maybe some drop rate and then the top one is mesoptane. You could also say, I'm just going to keep this for now. And then I'll just lock cooldown skip and drop rate later and replace it with boss damage once I'm really going to do like Chaos Tenebras and stuff. And that gives you a little bit more time yeah. to, to make more honor EXP. So you could be, still be a little bit flexible there, but you do want to hit like a really good unique uh, line. Um, I would have to kind of like pull a number out of thin air, but I think you probably spent somewhere like around 15 to 20 bill on circulators to hit like a good, you know, like unique uh line that you want that doesn't seem like super excessive because like a hundred uh 100 circulators is like uh is like 18 bill right yeah or is that a thousand wait am i messing up uh, uh it's a thousand uh, right that'll be a thousand yeah because it's 18 mil each right oh yeah so yeah. it's maybe a little bit high maybe it's a little bit lower maybe it's more like nine to ten bill but i would yeah i would give yourself at least a chance at least like somewhere, somewhere, or yeah, somewhere close to 10 bill probably. And then if nothing hits there, then, you know, <laughs> you can reconsider, but you want to keep money, I'm guessing, for the bossing mules to keep them up from where they need to be. Yeah, well, well, well to get them there. Well, my Adele is there, of course, mm -hmm. um, uh, for now. Yeah, and then um, mainly yeah. shining. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so inner ability is something that you're thinking about so we have a somewhat of a plan for that of course you know you know depending on what the outcome is you can be flexible there um anything else off the bat you had any questions about um yeah i, I had some questions written down mm -hmm. um yeah we can uh, get those out of the way first yeah sure um uh, about my fans at the moment mm -hmm. yes um i just hit my uh, large drop Nice, great. Nice. Yes. Um, so I need to plan what now, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I have some small and some normal uh, healing fems, um, including those. Okay. And I have three fifty percent IED. Yeah. Um, okay. So there's a few things that you can do from now on. So you, the the general advice is just start making uniques, right, and just hope for boss damage and. Uh, or large IED and then use those. Um, the other small thing that's very cheap for you to do at this point that you might not have done yet is start throwing some familiars towards your bossing mules or potential bossing mules first and see if you can get two 15% IEDs on all of those first. Yeah, already did that. Okay, yeah. If, as long as you're good on that, then it's just crank out uniques and just pray, basically. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then hope that you're one of the, one of the lucky ones like the... You know, 110 percent like, boss guy. <laughs> yeah, the what was what the, it? Three sessions ago. Two sessions ago. Yeah, that was a. Uh, we'll, we won't forget that one very quickly. <laughs> no, we won't. You have but any spooky items like that that we could, we're gonna we're gonna see later? Um, not not that spooky. <laughs> not that spooky. Okay, yeah. Not those once in a lifetime. <laughs> All people combine oh. spooky items, you know. Um. Then oh, yeah. I'm now starting to get some arcane gear. Some mm -hmm. other question. Okay. Um, uh, do I need to swap them out piece by piece, or do I need to get a full set? 
Uh, because they changed the set like a couple months ago. Yeah, they did. So the, the, yeah, the goal was to basically let people transition out of it more organically, so one at a time. But technically, like for my uh, marksman, for example, and my hero, like I had 20 star Abzo. So just because I have a 17 star Arcane does not necessarily mean I can switch out because the extent to which you upgrade the pieces is also very important, right? So yeah. uh, I have to see, but if your Abzo is 17 and just with like, okay, flames and yeah, and then with a decent potential, but nothing too crazy, then you should be able to swap out basically one at a time, yeah. Yeah, I just got my uh, glove like last week, so I'm waiting for Shining to upgrade mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, because you'll immediately get I'm the two set, that. right? The two set arcane versus yeah. the losing the four set uh, abso. Yeah, so that'll especially when it gets up to seventeen, then it'll be pretty much always. Yeah, it'll be always an upgrade. Only, yeah, like I said, unless the flame and, and the potential is like already crazy on the abso or something. But then it will start being an upgrade once you have like three or four at least. So, yeah, you can easily switch out. Yeah. You gotta uh, go for. So those were my main questions. Okay. Um, Good. All yeah. right. All the other topics are uh, are okay. So I'm just gonna just see what the foundation. Yeah. So the familiars are solid right now, and then you have solid fams on the bossing mules. So how many bossing mules do you run now? Would you say? Uh, now one and a half, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, my buccaneer has some bosses, but mm -hmm. um, I'm closing in on uh, three doors. Yeah. Um, uh, so one and a half, I would say. Okay. Yeah. And the paladin. I did, yeah. And I did. I didn't do all my. Yeah, paladin is is a weird one. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. like it. You don't like um, it. Okay. It could do some things, but you just don't like logging into it and and doing things. Yeah. I think maybe with some more nodes or some more love here and there, maybe he could be strong enough to for you to want to do it, or you just don't like the class at all. Uh, probably if I can blow uh, some things up, then uh, <laughs> it would be fine. But uh, yeah. it's not a priority for now. Oh, you meant blow the boss? I thought you meant blow up some equips. I'm like, wait, that wouldn't that make you weaker? But you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you mean like nuke the nuke the bosses? Yeah, I, I got you. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, because sometimes you kind of just want to start low and do like three door of a bunch of characters until that income comes in you know you get a lot more cubes And a catchy and everything below that. That's already a decent amount of money every week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how. Yeah, uh, how many hours you have to play, and whether you have to, you know, whether you already have a lot of free time now, or do you feel like you're already pretty stretched thin in terms of what you want to do and what you can do. I guess I'll start making a local copy, and we can just continue. I guess. Um. Yeah. So well. So yeah. So that's, that's something to just to keep in mind in, in general, and like how much money are you breaking in on a on a weekly basis, and because definitely if you still feel like there's a lot of grinding to do on the main, and you're still enjoying doing that, then that's going to bring in some money, of course. Um, but you, yeah, you don't necessarily want to take like hours. They are the only hours when you can grind and take those hours off, and then um, do weekly bosses in that time, because then your main is basically. Yeah, you make money for your main, but your main is not going anywhere, you know, in terms of equips and everything. So you want to get the equips first, so then you can use the money to upgrade them and not the other way around, because then <laughs> there's a lot of money, but nothing to upgrade. It's kind of like how my mom does the <laughs> plays the game. <laughs> and then you have, yeah, yeah. there's like 140 bill and level 280, but then no backup. So you can't really, yeah, what are you going to do? Flame and potential, right? That's all you can do when, but all the games are in Star Force. So you need backups. So yeah. Good, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I still want to grind on my main, and mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to get it like 260 to get to uh, to the new uh, new new dailies. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Getting a uh, Cernium and with the extra symbols per day there now. That's uh, you know, and you want to be ready for your sixth job as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's what. Yeah. Even though we don't know exactly what they're gonna do yet, but they seem like they're gonna be crazy. So <laughs> it's gonna be nice day one. They just 
Well, if you can get it's a day one, big. yeah, we don't we don't quite know what the the barrier to entry is going to be. It's probably going to be massive. I remember the barrier to entry on fifth job was twenty two hours of waiting. So <laughs> I don't, I wonder how long this is going to be. But um, yeah, okay. But yeah, you're keeping an eye on that. That's good. That's good. And your legion is six point four. Okay, that's pretty good too. You're trying to slowly work your way up to eight k. Yeah, yeah. I still don't have all the characters, so mm -hmm. I have some free levels as well. Oh yeah, true. You have with four Kali. more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Kali soon, uh, another two hundred extra. Yep. Um, and for the last three, I just wait for hyper bur for for uh, mega burns. Yep. Basically. Mega burns, um, terra burns, hyper burns, whatever comes our way. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. That all makes sense. Um. What do we have here? Link skills. Did you have any questions on those? On like priority or something, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe on my bossing. Um, I don't have all the link skills max yet. Um, um, because there are some low level uh, mm -hmm. link skills still in there. Um, okay. uh, for example, the, um, uh, the light wash from uh, mm -hmm. Lumi. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like, yeah, is it worth it to to keep in there also because well DSF has a lot of uh, um, IED built in of course yeah yeah that's true uh, what's your do you know you like your functional ID I guess your, what's your visual one here is see 97 yeah so you're probably good but that's because of the line in your weapon right yeah and your full superior yes yeah, yeah. But that's, is that when you use all three of the IED familiars? Yeah, it was, uh, it was fully buffed, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So make, and make... then I've, I've got some extra 30, I think, on my uh, Demon Impact. Yeah. And when I use Demon Awakening, Awakening? there's also some extra. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, eventually you're going to be re-rolling that weapon, right? So even yeah. that... Uh... Uh, but I, I rolled this and I was like, well... Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> all the lines do something. So if you're on a limited budget, there's nothing wrong with that for sure. Yeah. Awakening is an, another fifty percent extra. Yeah, yeah, that's massive, of course. And you have a rune four shield. Some people have to wait a very long time for that. So yeah, I got lucky with that like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And a nice on, potential on a normal, on a normal, normal run. Damien. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't complain. No, no, <laughs> that's uh, that's very solid. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, you got enough ID now with the fams that you can you could reroll the weapon and not really be hurting if you have the budget for it, right? You probably reroll re the the emblem first just because of you know uh, variation and outcomes and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it does mean ID wise that you're in a good position. Um, so yeah, I mean, probably still keep the link skill in just because it's pretty easy to get from 10 to 15 and then to 20%. Like technically if it's a 10%, if you replace it with, um, with the Hoyong, then your first hit would do a little bit more damage, right? <laughs> and also give you 10 ID or with the zero, then you get a little bit of damage reduction if it's not percentage HP, I guess. So they would be like around the same level. I guess it's at this point, if I look at the bossy one, I think it would be like Keen Edge and then Light Wash that are probably the two weakest ones. And with your with your current uh, IED, you can probably just leave that one out. Um, but who would you replace it with? Um, Link skills is always my... Uh, my weakness. I have to go and just go look. <laughs> um, yeah, there are so many options to. Yeah. Choose. <laughs> Do you have the empirical? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You have the empirical knowledge. Yeah. You got the crit. Yeah, maybe like the Adele link for bossing. If you have, is it party? Is party? Yeah. If in party, then that's a good one for sure. Is, uh, that, uh, is that? That's only for yourself, right? Or for? It's a yeah, self buff. It's, it's a self buff, and then it depends. You get some base amount, and then a little bit extra per party member. So yeah. even by yourself, you get six percent because if you know because you have one party member, so it's not that bad. Uh, and then it goes yeah, up and to for, for, for hard lucid. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah, it's, and it's twelve percent, so it's basically the same as uh, unfair advantage, for example. Also, twelve percent. Yeah. And the well, if you're moving around a lot, but yeah, same goes for the mobbing one. If you do move around a lot, then the uh, the ilium one could also be nice, right? I don't think I ever made an ilium. Oh, yeah, well, then. But <laughs> and forget about that, but that that stacks up to twelve percent as well if you're moving around a lot. Oh, yeah. But the problem is, Ilium for most classes for bossing is not that great because you want to do the most damage when you're bursting, and then most classes when they're bursting they stand still, and then you lose your stacks on the Ilium, and then it's basically dead weight, right? And you're like sitting in Bane, and then the stacks goes away because <laughs> you're not moving, and then it's like I'm sitting yeah. in Bane, and then awakening. Uh, so yeah, yeah. And you're just standing still and just wailing on it. Yeah, uh, you don't need the crit at all. Don't have the oh yeah, do you have the BT? Well, uh, yeah, demon slayers don't need crit basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it'd be um, it would be either if you're just going full on damage, it could be maybe the the cane one or uh, yeah or the Adele one, or if you need the um, extra resistance, you could put the Cygnus in there, especially if you have it up to level ten. Because then you do get stunned a little bit, you know, less long by things that are falling, which I like uh, that a bit um, on the harder bosses, like in Tenebris and stuff, and like Hard Lotus, those kind of bosses. So you just have a little bit less chance of getting like chain stunned just into death, but instead you might be able to like duck out of the way, and you don't always have to use your iframes for those situations, although you, you do have yeah, those okay. available, of course. So I think those yeah, are the only so other options. Unless I'm All right, uh, yeah. we'll uh, we'll make some changes there then. Mhm. Mm yeah, other than that, it looks uh, looks very solid. Right. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, Legion setup seems fine. You got another like mobbing setup and everything, different prio. Yeah, I got me one with full bonus and some crit damage. Mhm. Mm uh, bonus XP for uh, grinding on my main, uh, and some with um, crit rate full and crit damage full for uh, mules. Right, okay. And any for buff duration? I don't know if you have any characters. I don't have any Ice Lightnings, Kaisers, nothing like that, no. That could be another option, right? You uh, go into a buff duration one, because the final damage on like Ice Lightning Mages or Fire Poison Mages or Bishops, that would actually be like higher prio. But I guess yeah, you know. no, I, I, don't, I don't have them you don't on, have a, them. Yeah. Uh, on a high level. Them. No worries then. Okay, uh, let's see. V Matrix, anything here? Yes, yeah, so I'm working my way up. Uh, doing some notes here and there, but doubting about uh, where to put my notes. Uh, or on my main or on the boss mule. Yes, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess Demon Awakening, you want to you wanna work on maxing that, right? Because the, the uptime. Yeah, yeah, so I put my, some more in Awakening. Mm hmm Yeah, other than that, I guess Weapon Aura is also still decently nice. Also final damage, longer uptime. Yeah, I, I guess the only, well, the ones that you can kind of ignore is like, you know, to level is like the ones you have on the bottom, and then Blink, you know, Mustama, whatever, fuck that skill. <laughs> I mean, it's nice and everything, but like only when everything else is leveled up. But yeah, like Weapon R is still pretty good, uh, Jormungandr is still pretty good, Orthros is great, uh, Bane is great, Demon Awakening is even better, and then the Demon Blessing is actually, um, the Goddess Blessing, right, uh, is also pretty good. So you've got plenty of, of upgrading. Yeah, that's going to be the main thing. So I, I'm usually okay with not maxing out the nodes and kind of being in a situation where you are, I think is fine, as long as you're able to do like the bosses around your level that you think is uh, are good. And then if you really, like, you know, you want to push to smaller party, hard looser, or you want to push to hard will, and then there's really, like, damage that needs to be done. Uh, once your other equips and everything is kind of on the level where you're like, okay, every upgrade here is, like, tens of billions. It's going to add up to hundreds of billions plus. Now is now maybe a good idea to, like, throw a few hundred nodes at the character and just kind of, you know, see if you gain some levels. Uh, just to kind of even the, the balance again on where, you know, where do you spend... In terms of um, you know, kind of like the overarching progression grid, right? Like bringing all of those levels up a little bit, so that if you're like 80% of the way in one of the sources of damage, and then 75 in another one, and you just invest a little bit more in the one that's not as maxed out yet. 
Yeah. So I'm usually okay with a setup like this. Like, because everything you have maxed means that if you open it, you have to extract it. So I'm cool with uh, with this stuff usually. Um, right. But yeah, looks like you have like you have all of the upcoming skills. Oh, you don't have uh, impenetrable skin at all. I Which notice. One is that? Uh, it looks like a yellow orangey armor. It's yeah, a yeah. common warrior one. Uh, that gives you damage based on how many times you get hit. So that builds up, uh, but it's on a four minute now. They're going to change the uptime a little bit, just like with weapon aura and stuff. Um, and But it also gives you knockdown resistance. Alright, uh, I will uh, save those uh, yep. when I get them then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's usually like, you know, bottom of the first page kind of... <laughs> Kind of deal on uh, on where they get in, yeah. Is it getting in now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, around around here because all the other ones are highly situational, right? Like needing a second bind, needing the the Urda's um, Urda's will, like the rope lift is probably never necessary. The other one is only mobbing. So the last two pages, the last two pieces are either for the will skill and for impenetrable skin, or maybe for like a special node. You know, if you want to min max on damage or get a healing one in there. Um, okay. Um, other than that, Matrix good? Yeah, no, no questions about that. Uh, okay, cool. know about the Bradwell skin, so that's, uh, that's a nice one. Yep. Uh, okay, and here you have your backups. That's good to see for the upcoming Shining Star Force. How much do we have saved up? How much do you plan to have by the time Shining drops? Uh, so that's like two more weeks, right? Uh, the 9th of July, yeah, so two full weeks, no, well, pretty much, right? Yeah, so two, two more bossing weeks, basically. Yep. Yep. Um, so I think I uh, will be around double of this, um, 18 bill, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, 18, and so you got plenty of CRA. A little bit up to narrows. They could go up to like one or two backups. Yeah, the narrows are now going fast because of the dreadnought moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Uh, since since last week or so. No um, time. All the narrows. Yeah. Got six primals. So you're thinking about maybe maybe getting to Meister if you need to get extra rings for backups. Um, wasn't thinking about it right now, um, but mm -hmm. could be, yeah. Well, I'm if I'm hearing like 18 bill, I'm hearing like um, in terms of, so you know, just to throw in the the calculator, right? Do you use the commands and calculators and stuff like that? Do you check that out every now and then to kind of get an yeah. idea? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what what were like the projects? What were the things that you were looking at? Um, I want to do. Uh, Give my C-Ray a little push. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, my um, uh, my arcane glove to 17, but it shouldn't be too much. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my uh, superior belt, because I have two backups of those. Okay. Um, with a push. So like up to 19 uh, or something? Yeah, yeah. Depends on how well it goes uh, in the beginning, yeah. I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I have some black bean marks as well, I think, uh, on backup. What could be those? Okay, so your current one is 18. Oh yeah, and three line strength. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice. And the narrows that you have, those are for... Uh, to make a uh, tattoo? A or? Yeah, or, or, or the pendant. Pendant, yeah. So, I mean, if you're trying to make the pendant, then you want to have one transposed by then, right? Uh, yeah. And if you're trying to do the tattoo, then where you're at now, when you're going towards hard lucid, I wouldn't start working on a tattoo now because you're, you know, you're doing the bosses that will be getting the twilight marks, right? And then even at 17 twilight mark, once you get the ring, that means you need to get a tattoo at least the 19. And even then it's going to be around the same point as like a 17 to 18 twilight mark. So that feels like, uh, like it would be a little bit too late for that now unless you're going to go for a 21 so that you can have more room to get more twilight marks and just kind of go tapping crazy on that until you can also make a 21 twilight 
yeah. that's kind of how I, I would consider that one. Do, do you have, uh, well, you have uh, some dominators. So you could try to transpose one, but the pendant is like, what, 350, 400? Yeah, it's going to be close, but yeah, it's I expensive. think I can play almost every day. Mm -hmm. It's still shining. Okay. At least, uh, at least for uh, Commercy. Yeah. Uh, 400 is... Uh, yeah, but you do make like what forty dineros a day, and then with the CPQ. Uh, what is it? 12, 12, run, 12 runs for. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's forty eight plus what is it like six or seven per CPQ, so like another twenty. Yeah. So sixty, almost seventy dinero, sixty to seventy dineros a day. Yeah. yeah. That is a decent amount. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I transposing today, and 10 I'm, attempts a day, and that's 100 and small, small 300 as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you could try you could try for that one. Um, yeah, if, if you're going for the tattoo, even if you get, like, tattoo up to 19, maybe that's one boom or so, then... And then if after that you get a twilight mark, then you have to decide, like, do, are you going to get the twilight mark, like, straight up to 19 as well before you equip it, or are you going to... You know, kind of like use them as fodder for each other. If the Twilight Mark booms, then you just keep the tattoo or you try to get the tattoo higher if the Twilight Mark goes to 19, something like that. But if you invest in that, then you want to make sure that you use the value to s save money and, and save risk on the other pieces that share the slot with it, right? Yeah, yeah. so I think I'm going to for the pendant then first. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, I think in your situation uh, where, you know, you're not going to go for like 21 superior penance anytime soon, but you already have quite some uh, some dominators rather than like the rings and stuff. So it seems for that one might be a better idea to do that one first because you can definitely spare one extra pendant for uh, to get a stronger one in there. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're looking at money. Uh, is zero to 17? No, not this one. This one. Um... Okay, it shouldn't be more than like a bill, bill and a half or something for the glove. And then the arc, yeah, the CRA stuff is at 18. Uh, I think 21 might be doable there. Yeah, so that might be like anywhere from four to like six. It could be as low as three though. That's like 11, uh, 12 on average. Mm hmm. If you're on between median and yep. the average cost. 12, 13, so like 13 ish with the glove. And then the belt. Yeah, the pendant. I mean, yeah, you could always just. Li you probably just leave the pendant at 17, I'm guessing. Because you're probably not going to have enough dineros for a pendant and a backup pendant and for all the transposing costs. Like, that's probably going to be a bit too much, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, or on, or on, have to be extremely lucky. Mm -hmm. Oh, you but you currently have a seventeen. Oh yeah, you can always use the dominate pendant later for to switch for drop or mezzo or well, you have that one already. But uh, to um, I guess that was your old one, and you were cubing it for damage, and then this popped up, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, and I, I still need to uh, roll. I've now two pendants with mezzo. Mm -hmm. and a bit of shame uh, because I can't use full meso and spirit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so I have now an extra uh, uh, ring, uh, event ring, mm -hmm. um, and I put there my uh, well, the, the new Meisters um, solid cubes, I think. Yes. Or the other ones. Mm -hmm. The old uh, it, Meisters. Uh, yeah. Um, Waiting, waiting to get uh, uh, some meso on there. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yep. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. I guess your black black beam mark can get some. Uh, your drop rate black beam mark can get some stars as well because it has zero. <laughs> I see. Yeah, it has zero. There's some gains yeah. that we made, we made there, but I, I can still I can still kill everything easily. Yeah, you're um, mainly opening boxes with drop. that, so who cares? Yeah. Okay, uh, oh yeah, you wanted to maybe get stars on the black bean mark and maybe on the belt. And maybe the kind of treasure yeah, so. ring, right? Maybe before the... 
Maybe marks. Bef before the belt? How many marks do you have? Um, one, two, three. Uh, three. Mm -hmm. Three extra. Three extra, yeah. So technically five. Um. Yeah, because we're we talking about like 18. I'm basically already looking at like 13 bill or of that to be spent. Uh, this would be the same cost for... No, the rings are 140. The other items are also lower, right? So it's looking closer to like... Yeah, anywhere two and a half to three and a half. I also look at this one, right? Um, yeah, because you do, you do a lot. Yeah, if you do a lot of items... One of four out of your items is going to be, you know, closer to a five. And then, you know, one is probably going to be closer to this. So it kind of evens out. But even if you have one here and one there, that's 7.2. So it's a little bit higher than the average as well. Yeah. I'm wondering, um, it might be a good idea. So I'll probably walk a whole bunch of the items to 19 first. So like glove the 17, um, you know, maybe the black bee mark here for your drop to like set to 16 or something, right? So it just has something on it and it's pretty cheap. Um, yeah. And I'll probably see if you can just walk the CRA up to 19, the black bee mark up to 19, the kind of treasuring up to 19. And spread, spread it out evenly. Yeah, like the belt up to 18. You have two backups, right, for the belt. Um, yeah. and you have, mm, and it's unique potential because you have two backups. I think it might be better to maybe just not risk the belt and keep the backups so that 21 and 22 will be smoother. Cause there is a chance that in like the next six months, you just don't see another bell. <laughs> There's like a chance of that. And if you get a boom now, you're going to regret that later for like potentially getting one star. So I'll probably walk up 19 on, on those pieces. So excluding the belt, and then go back to the CRA and see if you can get the CRA to 21. And if that goes, then you basically just go down, go down the order again, just which with whichever piece has the most, uh, the most backups. And of course the black B mark would stop at, at 20 there. But, um, oh yeah, and the, and the, the, you know, if you can transpose the pendant up to 17, but then if you, if you, yeah, if you can end up with the kind of treasure 19 with the like B mark at 20 and like two CRA pieces at 21, maybe one at 19 still, something like that, then that, that'd be good overall use of your money. Cause it's not like you have like a hundred bill and you can just start slamming, you know, you just start tapping everything. You'd have to be uh, a, a, a tight budget. Yeah, well, yeah, not the tightest of budgets, but that is the day where basically your money is worth almost double, right? Because if these items, uh, if these events weren't on, this number basically just doubles, right? It goes from 3.4 average to 7, so. Yeah. So you're essentially doubling your money just because you're yeah, upgrading during that day. So you definitely want to go close to broke, but you don't want to be so close to broke that you actually increase the risk of ending with a downgrade because... That's, you know, that's no good. So if you spread your money, you lower um, the risk of ending up with an overall downgrade versus where you started. Yeah. That's what I would do there. Yeah, and then the next jump would be like another 5, 10, 15, probably to try to see if you can hit some 21s because it's not like any of your potentials are like pure dog shit like they're all okay and the ones that are not the best are the ones that you're going to roll over eventually right with transfer hammer so you don't you don't want to go too hard on those anyway um yeah or, or with another item uh, with yeah things. with another item so what's your ring uh situation right now these are the damage uh, rings yeah so this uh, full damage gear mm -hmm. um, so the reboot awake ring uh, would, would ideally be replaced, right? With the damage, uh, yeah. like with the yeah, slime ring? The, the, yeah, I, I just didn't get a drop yet. Yeah, yeah. And you're doing normal, and then you're hoping if you get a party, you know, hard lucid, that maybe we're hard lucid, hard will, see slime, like kind of like as the next step before the gloom stuff and the tenebrous stuff starts, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Just yep. By then, control. hopefully, yeah. By then, the Twilight Mark should be in, and then that set bonus can happen. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So for now, the, the Awake Ring with uh, with twelve strength, mm -hmm. and because it's an Awake Ring with uh, basically a seventy star. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for it's, sure. Uh, it's it's fine for it's fine for now for the damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it has to be replaced. Yeah, it would be a Meister, would be a... Well, I, I guess a Meister Assess Ring would be replaced eventually as well. So, you know, people are looking at Reinforce, looking at Meister, looking at Slime. How's the Golux coins? 890, okay, that's not too bad. But no superior backups other than the belts? No earrings? Nope. No. no, no. Just doing it every day, but... All my, all my characters is just all belt backups and almost no earrings. I don't know why that is, but... Either they bo they yeah, do more yeah, I, or they don't even drop. They. <laughs> I uh, almost had to buy my earrings as well. Oh, uh, that's a rough. Uh, that's a rough spot. Mm okay. You're saving. Uh, are you saving like reinforced earrings and uh, being bean belts that kind of stuff? Uh, reinforced belts and reinforced uh, earrings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have like seven belts now and four earrings, five earrings. Because mm -hmm. that's going to be the next step after this, right? Is is anything that didn't go to 21 uh, or, or 20 in, in case of the black beam mark, um, that will like go up to 21 uh, on, on the next event. And then it'll be fodder to 21 to transfer hammer into the superiors. So like slime, uh, well... First, for like kind of treasure right to, into the superior, and then if the superior goes to twenty one, then you can do another one, and then do another one into the slime, or you know, depending on how slime goes, you could also just you know get a seventeen slime, and then if you get enough backups, you could try on the slime. Basically, kind of treat it, kind of treat it like the superior belt in a way in terms of how you look at it for upgrading. Um, but you want to keep that you know if you have the twilight mark, then you want to keep that set bonus. So I'm. I'm totally in favor of sitting on like 20 star items if you don't have the money for backups, like sitting on a 20 star superior, for example, if you don't have the coins to buy another superior ring, because you're probably going to jump from 17 to 20 anyway, right? So that's a nice upgrade. No need to potentially blow up that upgrade by, uh, yeah, by trying to tap up to 21 if you don't have the backup. Same thing with a slime ring, you know, 20 slime ring is three stars more than a 17 star. So, you know, some people might see it as 21 minus one. I usually see it as 17 plus three. Even though those yeah, are both... Every gain, every, every gain is a gain. Yeah, and especially when you're just still progressing on the character. Um, just capitalizing on what you have. Because there's so many projects to already work on. So why you know, why try to min-max and potentially risk losing the progress on something when you have other stuff that's probably just more prudent to spend your money on? Yeah. Because yeah, at that point, there's probably more arcane stuff going on. You probably want to get like double crit damage potential on the gloves. You probably want to get nice flames on the arcanes. That's going to cost a little bit more money, probably. Um, you know, maybe redo the potential on the weapon and the emblem at that point. So you know, there's enough there's enough to spend your money on, other, rather than just you know trying to tap and boom your <laughs> tap and tap and boom some twenty star stuff. Like twenty stars is already you know like two stars from being completely finished and one star from being for most people finished for the longest time and. That's already like black mage level gear, right? So, no need to, yeah, go too far on that. But I think you're kind of on the same page with that, right? Yeah, um, I had a, a a box drop from Hard Lucid for my weapon, mm -hmm. unfortunate, but uh, oh, after this one already, at the same time, yeah, yeah. So I've I've now two weapons. Mm -hmm. Um, is an idea also to. Uh, push that a little or just focus on the other uh, equips because well arcane is more expensive than the others um so you mean like for other upcoming shining yeah yeah so if you have one backup i don't know if you're at the amount of money and the amount of income to start doing that but eventually i would um i think it's okay especially if you have weapon backups to try to see if you can get a weapon up to 19. 17 to 19, especially, you know, if you're thinking about 20, 21, maybe 22 and stuff like uh, like CRA, at that point, 17 to 19 is relatively low risk and will give you, you know, way more 
close to guaranteed gains for you know you know reasonable more reasonable amount of amounts of money so at that point if you have like two or three backup weapons i would say like just try to go get one to 19 but only during a 5 10 15 only you know if there isn't like a cube sale soon and you ha have some gains to make there only if your bossing mules aren't like you know struggling um because uh the like past 15 stars all the arcanes are like the same right actually technically gloves give you the most gains more than weapon even past 15 stars it's just that up fi up to 15 stars the weapon gives uh gives way more um but yeah, yeah you, you never buy backups for that so only if you get drops for the weapon for the other ones it'll be a combination of whether you get uh, drops or whether you've been waiting for a long 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 time and you, eventually you get all the arcanes to 19 because this may be another thing um maybe that you've also heard people talking about right like, like do you tap arcanes off events sometimes if you get a box what do you you know because if you have a box you can have a universal backup um but this would be like after you get to five set right uh, so sometimes if you get if you have a lot of money and there's no event anywhere around sometimes people will be like okay well you know i'm just going to try to tap an equip from 17 to 18 and if it goes then i'll just work on something else until something booms and i'll just open that from the box and that way you can kind of like cheese one or two stars you know with every box until you maybe get all of your arcanes to 19 and then you basically just you know save forever <laughs> until almost everything else is 22 to get your arcanes from 19 up to 21. Yeah, that's gonna be costly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, very. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why the, you know, either you grind a ton or those bossing mules come into a position where they can start killing much faster. So uh, to, to go back to that a little bit, I guess, um, the ID familiar is very, very useful, of course. Um, reinforced Gollux is a good like in between, like superior just takes too long, and reinforced is very close in terms of uh, set effect. So I can highly advise reinforced Gallic set. And another yeah, really big for, thing. Getting for those. Yeah, uh, another uh, that's good. Another really important thing is I think getting access to some guild skills on them. And if you have any kind of things in the works in terms of with your existing guild, you're in the home guild, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on guild. Uh, I'm not yet, mm -hmm. um, uh, but I can uh, work some things out probably. Yeah, because it's just it's so much free anyway. damage. Um, all you have to do is really like you know cover and flag once a week. You know that doesn't really uh, <laughs> put a dent in, in things too much. But the amount of money that saves you spending on the character and how quickly you can do your weekly bosses is insane value return. Even if you only have like like one and a half or two max uh, skills. Um, yeah, you, you'll you'll notice a huge difference in, in the mules in terms of damage output. So that's definitely something to look into as well. Because, uh, you know, you could be like, okay, bossing mule, you know, I can only do these bosses. Or it takes like half, uh, it takes like 40 minutes to do all the ones I want to do. That's just way too much time spent. So I'm just not going to do it at all. And then, but, you know, what if it's sped up by like 10 minutes? Now you would do all of them. Now you're suddenly, your weekly income could like double or more once they can start killing. So... Um, definitely consider that as, a, as an option. Yeah, yeah, I will, for sure. Because, you know, if you're somewhat limited on time and you're getting into the realm of, like, you know, 21 and a 22 and, like, getting arcanes up to 19 and past that, like, it's just so much money um, that I hate for you to just have to wait, like, a whole year, you know, before you can kind of semi-risk-free start making some upgrades or, you know, end up spending all of your money that you saved up for six months or something like that and then end up with, like, one star gained or god forbid one star lost you know and then it's like wow <laughs> what am i <laughs> what am i doing all this for <laughs> hopefully you're still like progressing on uh black mage or something at that point but yeah that's kind of the point where a lot of people are like hmm you know i don't know if this game is for me if it's it's taking this much effort and this many hours so getting more efficiency from your hours is a good thing to look at at that point yeah yeah well uh, for sure uh, mm -hmm. try to get in the guild and uh Yep. And get some guild skills with it. Mm -hmm. It's some easy damage, basically. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's easy access and it's just cheap, right? So it's cheap in terms of time, in terms of investment. So all of that investment can go to other sources or maybe even to other characters so that you can increase your overall weekly income. Yeah. So your old secondary. Yeah, I mean, WSC is uh, 
is good right now. Um, you might eventually want a slightly better flame on the weapon, but yeah, that's that's further down the line, right? I mean, there's still access to black flames now, right? You don't really have anything else to black flames, so you can always throw those on a weapon and see if you get something shiny. Yeah, I just ho hope and pray. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Every single, every single one is just to pray and 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 then the disappointment right after. Um, is that ha is that sixty eight strength on the hat? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh... 60 and 5 with 5 attack. attack? Oof, that's very nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got, uh, got lucky with that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got your 7 day. Are you doing Monster Park and, uh, that kind of stuff on, like, other characters to kind of bring them up in level and... Keeping them in your account? Yeah, I'm not doing it on my Hyper Burner. Oh, yeah, um, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, excellent. Just to get some easy, easy levels on, uh, mm -hmm. on that one. Um, but yeah, I'm doing it on a character, so... Okay, yeah. Yeah, the... I mean, I guess if you get a Twilight Mark, that would be kind of like an in-between upgrade that you can just try to... Probably just get that to 17 whenever you get it. Get some okay potential and some okay flames, and then, you know, depending on backups, depending on... Party composition, you know, if someone gets one and they're just like a tapper, and then they just... Ac they actually tap it all the way up, and they go out of the loot rotation, or... If you go by, just give everyone one, or if you blink every time, that's that's going to depend on the party. But yeah, th it is highly in your favor to really start looking at uh, hard will as well. So you did n normal practice? Is that what you were saying? Uh, I did some uh, B1 and B2 easy practice solo, uh, and B1 mm -hmm. uh, normal practice solo. Okay. Um, yeah. On easy, B2 is killing me with... Uh, um, with no bots, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's kind of, kind of hard. Uh, yeah. You got the healing fam so? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. um, but not a big uh, healing fam, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have it. the thing about healing fams is though that the, the healing is pretty close in terms of the... Like, having a lot of healing... Might, might even be better than having like large amounts, but since you're gonna start making uh, unique fams, like the the large healings will come eventually. So, because there's like a lot of different types of large healing, so there's a very good chance that you that you hit those. So, yeah, there's uh, not one better than the other, right? It's just all uh, twelve percent or so. I think there is variance where some are twelve and some are fifteen. I think. Uh, oh, familiar so oh, I type flame. I type the F and my hands just type something else. I think there's variance, but that um, that does give you just more outs, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's marginal. Possible familiar lines. Unique. Let's see. Heal, 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 heal. Continue to restore a large amount of HP, that's just for yourself. HP of party members, 15. HP and MP of party members, that's 15. And then HP to nearby allies, that's 15. And HP and MP to nearby allies, that's 15. And then increases the jump defense, that's 12. Ah, continue to restore a large amount of HP to party members. And large amount of HP and MP. Yeah, there's 12 as well, yeah. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight possible lines that all kind of do similar things. So that's why those, you know, if you're, if you're chasing boss damage, you're going to hit a few healing ones, be, like, far before you, <laughs> you hit all the boss damage you want. So that will happen for sure. And then the main thing is just, you know, be, having party members will greatly increase the amount of total healing. So that will make that easier. The main thing, if you're just doing solo practice, the main thing you want to focus on is just dodging as many attacks as possible and getting used to the pattern. So, you know, when a leg hits somewhere, it's highly unlikely that it hits twice in the same spot. So usually, as long as you move to wherever a leg just hit, then you're typically in a safe spot for the next attack. So that's um, for phase one, that's important. Um, try to get used to definitely dodging the little pink balls that float around. Because those in hard mode, those will actually give you negative 
moonlight. So anything that hits you, and I think that's the same in all the modes, but especially in, in hard world, that's the difficult part. Everything that hits you pauses your moonlight gathering for like two, three seconds. So you have to get not hit by something for a certain duration in a row to even start building up. Uh, so if you get hit, you know, even just every two seconds, you're just never getting any moonlight. And then you can't use your skill, and then, you know, you die, or you can't switch uh, dimensions, or you can't heal, right? So it's going to be a combination of... Um, I think once you're doing normal, and you can basically feel like you almost never have to use your moonlight, like you always have moonlight available uh, just throughout the whole boss fight, but you're really only using it for, you know, you need to switch dimension for test. Uh, or you need to heal in phase two every now and then, then I think you're definitely ready to switch up to to hard. But I would say in a party, right? So if you're soloing, it's a little more, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more skill based and more class specific in terms of what you can realistically make in terms of progress versus when you're in a party and just you know doing struggle runs or something like that. Yeah, I'm first gonna do a party for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, make a party and. Uh... I struggle some. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just and, getting better at it. I see, I see. And, and your existing Lucid party, uh, did, did they have the aspirations to, to move up to Hardwell uh, as well? It's normally a random party with my guild members. Okay. Um, uh, so some some have the aspirations to do will, some mm -hmm. uh, don't. Okay. Um, so that, that, that's, that, that, that's a chance to, uh, to do will every week. Okay. Um, not not completely the same party, but mm -hmm. right. like you fill two or three people, and then yeah, it's usually easier to find like two fills than to find five people. <laughs> That's uh yeah 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 you know. yeah. If I ask like on a random evening in my guild, there's like always well, a couple of people that that want and okay then some randos to fill, and then mm -hmm. you're, you're good. All right, good stuff. Um, okay. So in terms of equips and account, did you have anything else you were wondering about, like game events? Yeah, so I'm now um, well, trying to flame some of my items a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think I'm close to just putting them all on my mules, um, except when I get a new arcane, of course. Then yeah. Uh, Take on uh, the new arcade. Yep, yep. that'll be a priority. Yep. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Basically. Um. Yeah, I mean, the, like the yeah, the CRA is in a good spot. It's not like the best CRA I've ever seen, but you know, it's, it's normal. Uh, but yeah, I would probably do that because, especially in the beginning on bossing mules, you'll have a lot of boss accessory pieces. So those can very easily get like 45 to 50 flame score or something, even, you know, with like a few flames. And that's going to, in like a percentage wise, affect their damage way more than they ever could on your main character. So yeah, I'd yeah. definitely make an exception if there's a arcane, of course. And for the arcane, I would hit like, uh, try to hit like 120, 125 around there for a flame score. And then, you know, and then move back on to helping the boss mules until you get the next arcane piece. I think that's totally fair, yeah. All right, gonna do that then. Uh, also, some flames. Uh, 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 event shop wise, mm -hmm. um, I'm now doing well. No stones. Yeah. Um, uh, no stone of flames, base uh, uh, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also advisable to do the. Um, uh, what do they call it? the droplets. I would see. Do you think it might be possible for you to hit 260 before the end of the event, and then maybe buy the sacreds? Um, when is the end of the event? August 29th. Oh. It could be. It could be. Uh, yeah, it all depends on how the summer is going with yeah. work and, mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. It's two full but, months um, though, so I, I so I, I I'll probably is. save them up, and then if you because if you do get there, then you can. Buy yourself a hundred extra symbols, which is a nice start for the new area, because the sacred yep. powers <laughs> build. You know, even though it's double speed now, it's still or or almost double speed. It still builds very very slowly, so you can uh, use uh, all the help you can get. But if it's not that, then um, yeah, probably the droplets just to make it a little bit cheaper to switch to arcanes, right? 
I don't know if other than that, if there's yeah. anything really useful in there. Check real quick. I don't think so. But... It's a lot of stuff that you could just buy with uh, with Mezzo otherwise, right? Yeah. Yeah, for the weekly bossing one, you can get your Black Flames there. See if you can get something nice on the weapon. Event ring... Yeah, you don't need that. So you would prioritize uh, Black Flames over Flames for uh, mules? Yeah, because I think if you're using mule pieces, you might as well just use Powerfuls and a few Eternals that you get from weekly bosses or just buy some Powerfuls for it, I think. For Eternals, just because they're like triple the value, I would get those if you have an Arcane piece that needs a good flame. But otherwise, I'd probably skip them and prioritize the black flames to get something better on your on your weapon right now. Because you do have a decent chance of hitting something better. But if you use Eternals on the weapon, then there's also an okay chance that you end up with something worse or, you know, something around the same. And then all the, co the coins were kind of wasted. Yeah. All right. And you don't need Black Circulator and, yeah, the... Yeah, maybe the good inner ability. Yeah, exactly. You need a really, you need a really good one to to <laughs> to be able to um, justify using these. And you're, let's just say, you're not quite at that point with your inner ability. Uh, oh, other just shop. Far off. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. That attack speed. Uh, what is it? Epic mezzo obtain. Oh, ex yeah. uh, epic. I uh, interrupt. Yeah, not quite the the jaw dropping inner ability. Uh, I'm getting these. How are your symbols doing, by the way? Are those 1160 um, arcane power? Okay. Those are uh, level 18, 19, 17, 15, 16, 16. Okay, that's solid. That's good. Yeah, this is all mezzo. Just getting there. It's not important. Just doing uh, the dailies when I when I log in, uh, and every week the weeklies now. Mhm. Mm um, I think I'm. Nice change, right? Couple days off for Chuchu, so okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I like the change. I'm now doing on more mules the weeklies than I mm -hmm. ever did, so yeah, <laughs> more than one. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I did them on some, but yeah, it's, it's it's so much easier now, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's just so fast, and then just boom, 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 45, move on, yeah. So much I only did, don't like what they did to the Dream Defender. Yeah, mixed uh, mixed reactions from people. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's like a, <laughs> this, this, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of like whatever, but most people either just hated the existing Dream Defender and some people were like, okay, maybe I didn't really like it, but this is even more. <laughs> I get some frustrated sometimes if I go through all the rooms and it's always the last one that I go to and then I forget which one was which and then I just <laughs> I get frustrated. Uh, but, uh, they're yeah. just a little bit too many to memorize mm -hmm. for me at least to, to know yeah. like every room uh, yeah. which, uh, which item is where. Yeah, especially if you do back-to-back -back runs because then you have to immediately like wipe your memory and uh, remember a new set of nine items <laughs> and then you get confused with the previous run and then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Uh, but for example, I, I, I never did the um, uh, Moraz and the uh, Aspera one, and now I do them, so that's a yeah. 45 symbol win uh, mm -hmm. every week. Yeah, there's not much gain in terms of the dailies there, but the weeklies for most people, yeah, they were really barely doing those for Moraz and Aspera, yeah. So that, and, over, and those are already the slowest leveling pieces, right? So I think that's where a lot of the gains are, yeah. And for Spirit Saver, a lot of people like that the... The fact that you got kicked out of 10k is maybe not the best, but the fact that the shield system is gone, so if you do get caught, you can just stay in there and keep going. Uh, a lot of people like that part, so that's also The time nice. is also uh, extended, right? Yeah, you could just be in there and just uh, be chill. Yeah, I think it's instead of 3 minutes, it's 10 minutes or something, right? Yeah, so you just... Uh, it's a bit more chill, because even if you get caught, it's shitty, but you know, you just keep going, Yeah. It's not it's not day ruining anymore <laughs> to get caught. Yeah. No, no. Definitely not. Chuchu's is fast. Uh and Chuchu is easier now, right? Because you only have the normal mode, so it also easier to, to clear that for lower level characters. 
Yeah, I, I guess with the thing with Dream Defender was just it was e even if it was somebody's main, even if you just got into Dream Defender, you could e very easily immediately climb up to like floor sixty or seventy, and then like within a week climb up to like floor eighty or maybe even ninety, and then you're just stuck on ninety. But like there was so much initial investment to get to that point that it makes more sense to have a system like right now in terms of how quickly you get to the narrows. But yeah, not a huge fan of the setup, but you know it is what it, it is, what it is, <laughs> as they say. Um, all right. Okay, let's see. Well, we still have some time, of course, so... Just checking if there's anything else we need to talk about. You got another hyperstat setup for mobbing, right? On this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is just bossing, and mobbing is, uh... Um... Mainly full XP. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some crit damage to, to kill the mobs, but... Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically it. Have you ever tried like hard Lotus Hard Damien? Uh, no, no, never did. Yeah, I mean, because that, yeah, I mean, it would be in a party as well, right? Like Lotus is just more shit falling from the sky, essentially, um, and all of the skills hitting a bit harder, and then Damien is just way more HP. But how, how fast would you say you clear normal Lotus and Damien? Uh, um. I would say I plan it right uh, one and a half, two minutes each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fast. That might mean that you know, with a party, who knows what they're doing, you could get those clears. But then it depends, you know, do you want like a chance for the drops? Because then you're basically paying in crystal value and in some extra time during the week just to get a small chance divided by six <laughs> of a drop that then, you know either booms or costs a whole lot of money to, to make an upgrade on, right? But you are venturing into those waters a little bit. Yeah, I think, well, if I want to get pro uh, uh, pitched one day, you, mm -hmm. you need to start somewhere. Yeah, and the sooner you start, the more chances of locking into it, yeah. Uh, so is 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 uh, hard lucid hard Damien around the same time as hard lucid uh, with a party or? Um, yeah, for like hard lotus okay. and stuff. Yeah. Um, so right now, basically. Yeah, I mean, if you're going with a full party, you know, like as a as a boss in terms of the difficulty and the HP and stuff, it's it's lower ranked than than hard lucid. Uh, but you only have five lives, right? So everyone has to, has to pay attention and uh, synchronize well, probably be in a voice call, something like that, and make sure that you you communicate well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the, if a party can do hard lucid, then they should definitely be able to do hard lotus damage-wise. But again, most people at that point, because it's you're not there for the arcane, right? It's only for the chance of pitched and then, you know, fight over a black heart or a or a shield, but you already have your shield. So it makes more sense at this stage, and that's what most people do, is they just blow up normal instead, get their money and get out, until they get so strong and you get like full arcane and stuff that you can maybe like duo or like small party hard lotus hard Damien. And then but basically the goal is to get to soloing as fast as possible. But if you can duo with someone who already has a drop or someone who doesn't need the drop on that character or something, and they're just trying to get Abzo uh, characters, but maybe they're trying to get like Abzo pieces for support and they want to run with you, you know, that you have Prio for the pitch, they have, uh, they get their own Abzos, but you speed up the run a bit. Uh, that could be yeah, a Yeah, my brother, my brother plays as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a bishop, uh, fairly, 250, I think. Okay. That. Okay, that would, um, yeah, that could be a good combo. You can set up a two-minute uh, benediction. Yeah. You can always see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It, they basically have 30 times the HP, right? So if you kill the normal in like a minute, then you can kill the hard, you know, roughly in like a full timer. So you're going to need someone with it. If you, if you like a minute and a half to two minutes is like super fast. But, you know, if you <laughs> multiply by 30 and you're trying to do it, you'd need at least already two people to be able, be able to kill it within the timer, so. It's a, it's a big, big step up, yeah. It's a big jump. 
yes. And um, so I'm now soloing uh, uh, up to normal slime. Um, mm -hmm. What's normally the next solo boss that uh, people always said glue, normal gloom or? Rub. Well, yeah, it would be. I think glue, normal gloom is kind of on the same point as like as doing hard lotus. I think they're kind of at the same. If you level up quicker than you uh, train, then you could do gloom a little bit before lotus because then the final damage bonus starts kicking in faster. So then gloom might be a little bit before hard lotus. But if you're just kind of like evenly doing grinding and, and upgrading and that kind of stuff, then Hard Lotus, Solo or Duo, and then Gloom is kind of around the same same area kind of thing. But yeah, it would be that one, because, you know, who the fuck solos Lucid when you can just do hard in a party and then get drops, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe a practice run for mm -hmm. just, just, to, just to get it done once. Yep. Uh, and I, I like to... I like to stretch myself in that sometimes. Yeah. Some people go for um, normal Vihela. Um, but normal Vihela is a bit... You know, you need to... You probably want big healing fams there. Um, and it's... Um, let me check. Because I think in ranking, they put her just above... Because this ranking is pretty uh, accurate. Gloom. Just yeah. above Gloom. But yeah, like there's like one star, two star. It's like a little bit arbit arbitrary. I would definitely put Dark Knell above these other three, just because <laughs> there's so much shit going on, and only five lives, and it's it's like, you know, the whole fight is kind of like it starts like hard Lotus Phase Three, but then it gets even harder as the HP bar goes down. So, I would kind of say, um, in terms of like difficulty and each and damage that you need. It's probably, yeah, like if you go for level, it's probably Gloom first, and then like Lotus, Damien, and then Dark Knell. So it's like roughly, yeah, jumbled up a little bit. Um, but then, yeah, you see you have normal V Hela here. But soloing, you know, it's going to be a long boss fight. And she can drop the Daybreak Pendant, and she can drop the armor boxes. So that would be another boss to kind of like look towards. But then this is the bunch, like Guardian Slime for the rings. Normal Vihela for the chance of the boxes. But if your party could do normal and you have some time left over, it's better to just go straight for hard. Because it's just one bar extra, right? Just a third of the HP extra. And then you have higher drop chances and a chance for source. And yeah. So this jump happens pretty is, quickly. Uh, is the uh, Estella earrings, did, did they ever come into play? For us, no. Because of Superior Golix. Uh, you want Golix yeah. set and then eventually the commander force earrings see if he's to once you have the entire set to break up the entire uh superior Gallic set in one go but the estelle earrings i have seen people with estelle earrings but if you see anyone with high star with high star force estelle earrings that's the one they're using because it also transfer hammers into nothing right that usually means that they got greedy and blew up their superiors without backups <laughs> that's usually what that means or they use it as a drop ring or something but I mean, it's pretty expensive. It's a level 160 piece, so I don't know if I would upgrade that just for drop or mezzo. Seems a bit pricey. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You better get like an another superior, maybe, or something. Um, sure. Yeah, I, w I would usually just go down to like Will of the Wisps or the Diacitas, because I mean, they can. If you really want to, you can get them to uh, to 20, right? Which is really strong still. Yeah, extra superior or well what I have on one character is like way back in the day when the superior set was different we would get the we would craft the Meister earrings and then transpose those onto the sweet water earrings and then so I've got like a 21 star transpose sweet water earring from back in the day that's like one of my uh, my mezzo training pieces on the arc so you know something like that could work Okay, um, anything else you're thinking about? You didn't have any other questions written down, right? No, I did not. Uh, okay. I my questions uh, in the beginning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. I know what my next steps are. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've got the materials for Meister. I don't think, um, yeah, rig-wise, I would look towards the slime and look, to look towards... Uh, eventually Meister, but probably just not for this uh, event yet. And then I would postpone the reinforce as much as possible until you have all your superiors at least at 21. 
And then once your Golux coins are, if they're still Golux coins intact after that, then you can start working on reinforced if you want to. Uh, but even then, you know, Slime, Kana Treasure, Superior, Meister, you know, that could still go. But remember that Meister is a tradable ring, right? Because you can give it to your other characters. Whereas reinforced yeah. is like stuck on your on your account. So at that point, you have to look are there other characters that might want to use this ring. Can, you know, is it more value somewhere else? And then slightly ext uh, an extension of that is that with New Age, the ring boxes are going to drop from the bosses, right? So the what are now Oz rings are going to start becoming available at that point. Are they really going to be available or just like pitched and never dropped? It seems like the drop rate is decently high and affected by drop rate. So from what oh, we saw, good. it seems pretty decent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, rarity in the boxes. The quality of the boxes, depending on from the bosses that they drop, is surprisingly high. The drop rate is surprisingly high. Um, so it doesn't seem like it would be anywhere near like pitch or like, you know, pat mark levels of difficulty where some people just never see one kind of thing. It, it, is it still on, uh, is it it's already live in Korea or is it uh, still test yet? Um, the ring, well, that's a good question. I think the ring boxes are live, um, but the the six shop stuff is not live yet, I believe. Because we went over the thing, right? Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't pay yeah. too much attention. What mm -hmm. is in six months from now? Probably. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't blame you. Yeah, and then we have the um the, the continuous ring with the damage every up to every eight uh every twelve seconds for eight seconds. It was like a DPM damage increase. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's already in the game. Yeah. yeah. What? Okay. Looking forward to it in a, mm -hmm. in a couple months then. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a bossing mule that's like okay, and then you open up like a roar three or something, and suddenly you're just nuking things. <laughs> That'd be interesting. So it's, it's uh, there. There's no point for me just going uh, all sn right now. I'm guessing. Um, unless you really like the content and you want to do it now. I mean, it is still months away, and ne will never did it. You never did it. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's a bunch of different types of puzzles. It's like killing X amount of monsters. It's like repeating a pattern. There's a jump quest here and there. Um, some people just like the fact that it just breaks the monotony of just constant grinding in the same map over and over and over. Um, but I think a lot fewer people will be doing Oz now with the yeah with the with the ring box changes and probably will be focusing on just making money, 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 money. Just for the just for Star Force Wing, and then potentially you know for their flames or their potentials, and then just banking on the Oz Ring boxes just coming through, in terms of just just in terms of time investment per re for your return, you know. Seems like ROI wise, that's going to be. It, it seems safe to bank on it. If it was the same rate as pitched, people would be just still doing Oz and being like, yeah, fuck that. It's <laughs> you know it's like never going to happen anyway. So. Okay, and yeah. uh, you know, well, maybe, maybe I'll do pause, but probably just wait. Yeah, I mean, you could always just do a run, kind of build up and see if you enjoy it. And if you don't like it, you'll be like, well, that's a good excuse to just... <laughs> now you have a really good excuse to just not do it. Yeah, also a lot of people don't like Mercy. I mm -hmm. find it quite okay, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, Especially I don't think it's now with just, just 12 runs and yeah, out of there. Yeah, the build up to the Dreadnought... I'm at the point now where, hmm, you know, I've built up like six or seven dreadnoughts on my account, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay on it now. <laughs> uh, lost the, uh, lost the edge on that, but um, yeah, once you have a dreadnought, you're just printing the arrows. It's really simple, and then, you know, being able to guarantee yourself backups where other people are like, oh, the drop rate is so bad. It's like, well, you know, in the same time, you could have bought like four pendants, so that's like a guarantee twenty-one pretty much at that point. And other people are blowing up all their dominators to get a good dominator pendant, and then when they want to go for 21 superior, they don't have the dominator pendants anymore, and then, you know, if you ever get a sauce, then you still are out of dominators, and then you're gonna have to use your primals to make dominators and stuff, yeah, that's a, that's not an ideal situation to be in. 
what else? Uh, how much is the uh, transposing cost? By the way, it's like a three percent chance to. Yeah, it's it. a low. Yeah, two two and a half, three percent, something like that. It's ten dineros per attempt, and you can try ten times per day. So. It's been a oh, hundred. Also getting quite expensive. Yeah, it adds up because sometimes it's like a week. Almost, uh, it could be like a week or sometimes even two weeks before work. So that could be like between seven and <laughs> so seven hundred to a thousand or something. Hopefully it's not that much, but yeah, it can be, can be a bit. All right. All right. I think those are uh, the questions I had and uh, help I needed. Okay. Good. Uh, well, if, if anything still comes to mind, you know, you know where to find me. So hit me up whenever. Yeah, I'm in chat. Well, mm -hmm. yes, you are. Yeah. Some time, so. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I hope the, yeah, I'll see. Maybe the first part of the upload will be cut off. But if the VOD is okay, then um, I might still upload it like that. But uh, yeah, if you need to rewatch anything or anything like that, I'll... Uh, We'll see how the quality comes out with the <laughs> with the frame drop and with the quality dropping there, but we'll see how that goes. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'll see you around in chat, and I wish you best of luck on all of the upgrading. Yeah. Thank you. See all right. Ya. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Coolio. All right. So if anyone else is in a similar situation, or you're just gonna be there soon and you were wondering where to spend your money how to spend your money how to improve your account and move forward from where you are hopefully this was useful for you for, for you and um if it wasn't then maybe check one of the other videos that hopefully pop up here if you want one of these sessions check the description of the video or use exclamation mark coaching in the twitch chat over there on the top left of your screen uh well not of your screen but go to twitch.tv slash scarter and then type it into chat and then twitch i think it's on the right side yes should be on the right side um yes all those commands all this information all the things i pulled up here those are all available to everyone through the twitch chat no paywall you don't have to be online you can just use it whenever and if you uh so you can either submit money for a session or you can if, if you watch my stream and you're subscribed on twitch you can buy one of the sessions for points which is a lot cheaper and or lastly you could leave a comment saying that you would like to win one of these sessions on a video like this one please include your discord name so i know who you are and i know how to reach out and you might be one of the lucky two people at the end of the month that i you know i pull your name out of the hat it's possible we have a few more days left in june so i will be drawing the june names soon so best of luck to all of you other than that, nothing left but to thank you for checking out the video. And I will see you either live on stream, twitch.tv slash or in the next video. <laughs>